cheese. This pepperoni. He just got pepperoni. Because I don't be eating it. I'm about to make something to drink. I'm about to eat. Oh, it's number two. That's a bitch. I don't want my phone though. Uh, okay, we're gonna wrap the phone. It's right there. Where? Right there. First open in 2017, there's a look at the state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in the LGA. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport. As both yeah, control the demon controller. The tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do yeah. battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the Atlanta Falcons. Two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. This will be taken short. Come on, Mark. Pass the 20 to the 22. Oh, yeah, you something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good, and once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Able to get seven on that first down pass play, second and three. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Gates with a grab. Who's Gates? Antonio Gates. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Hey, mine. I got me. No, no, is that yours? The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Probably yours. Hey, mine. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Can I just leave it in the middle of the Double floor? Take it in the end zone. The double and he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. That was not fun, Bob. Leave my off square up. I square up my kid. <laughs> Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> 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 you know, Keon. 
A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play. He played for Donald Chipman in the ball. Who is Because they'll pay dividends. That's a little wider. On second down. Give me a pet And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries that I think they were missing in the last week. They couldn't get him going that bad. Did you get the same feeling that he did during that meeting? Did they kind of regret it that he didn't touch that? Absolutely. You know, he should have touched that. They do that on the red devil. They're going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. You don't. You have the break. Oh, him? Yeah. <laughs> he put some down the field. Second and nine, Mayfield, and he's got his receiver, that's Sammy Watkins. 
And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. A Cardinal first down on a gain of 13. Mayfield now already over 100 yards passing in this first quarter. It's first and 10. Now it's Carson. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. They got JJ Watt. We got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that. Some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> Spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Hey. 
Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Mayfield now from the 50. Pressure, he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go to push out right to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Was it under the sink? Oh, yeah, he's going to have to ask Taz. Right, the okay. Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. All right. From the gun, Mayfield. This one sent away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin him back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that. That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? They start on the ground with Elliott. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yeah. yeah maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. that they read man defense and went to the out route and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing and they got it done. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play and it'll be second and 11. <laughs> Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On first and ten, Cunningham. Got his man, that's the play burner, Julio Jones. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game.
reminder once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Not an absolute disaster, but another one here. Do you start to get a little worried? You worry about your team as a whole because you have to find a way to make those interceptions quote-unquote go away, and that means your defense. They've got to go out there on sudden change and at least hold people to field goals. If that keeps happening, they lose confidence in the quarterback, and then no one plays well. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And when you play a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you do as he did on that play. He can hurt you guys. Mm. Escape and he goes down. Tack McKinley able to get him for his second sack of the afternoon. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throw it, Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Throwing again on second and ten. Nathan. Man, this line is so terrible. Man. If this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. 57, Mike, 57. Yo, I got Third and long for Mayfield. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is brought in at the 21. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in corner number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two. You know? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he held on to it, but he probably 
shouldn't have as they get him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the gun, Cunningham escaping the pressure right. He completes it to Jones. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 30 yards there. And, of course, the first down as well. That grab another career milestone for him. 900 career catches now. All right, the applause is beginning, right? The applause is going on. That puts him just outside the top 20 all-time in the NFL. Next in his sights at 9.03, Wes Welker. Rarified air. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's Cunningham. Out to his left. He'll run it. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gritty play there. Put his nose down and got his guys a first. Offensively, they like their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now Cunningham. Flush to his right. And his throw is incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. From the gun on third down, Cunningham. He rifles one that's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Oh, goodness, man. My mind is terrible. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down, but now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. To try again after the sack. Mayfield. And a quick throw here that's complete. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Mayfield down. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. From Falcon territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Mayfield looks to throw. And he fires him. It's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Gates, the intended receiver there. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. 
Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. On second down, here's Cunningham. Flushed out right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you've got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Cunningham looking to throw. Caught by Jones. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. What a spin. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Cunningham to throw. This is caught by Williams. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. Cunningham. They'll try to set up the screen. It's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive. Two for two. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like, oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Partner, I think they saw something there. I mean, they came from the right side deliberately, and you know there's always a designated guy who goes and blocks it, but it's the rest of his teammates that get him free. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe making a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield throwing right, and that's complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. He'll check that down to Carson. And he gets it down to the 48. Enough for the first. It goes as a gain of eight. It moves the chains. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. On first and ten, Mayfield. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. 20. And he takes this one back in. 
into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys are picking it off. They're not saying that. Oh, what word do they use? <laughs> it's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your oh, vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be taken very short. Driving at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the pick six, and they've got decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down Shut a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Oh my God. To throw, Mayfield. Being chased out left. His throw is going to be incomplete. Cameron Meredith, the intended target. But now it'll be third down. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying I'm open, but maybe he didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive back's hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over anxious and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. And that will be incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. A good return there. 17 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. There's the stiff arm. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. 
Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, there defensively to make the play. So it looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. And he will find Ridley, that's complete. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Tenth carry now for Elliott. to the 25 before it's all said and done. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung him. No appreciation for the guys from the back side that didn't allow any leakage and he, if anybody could run him down from the nah, back side. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so, so front side guys, good. Yeah. Back side guys, Man. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way. Worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable game. A first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On second down now, it's Elliott. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth. But there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Mayfield to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. Pardon, you gotta like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Mayfield. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point. Oh, my goodness, man. He's going to call another timeout. Their second. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. He's back to throw. Gates with a grab. Dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. This is Carson. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Nine yards on the carry, but it's going to lead to a fourth down. And with four seconds remaining, they will call the timeout. So just enough of a cushion there to bring on the field goal unit and try to send this one to the extra session. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Four seconds to go. This would send us to overtime. And this is no good. Oh, by a matter of inches, he missed it wide to the right. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium, that certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. Two. And they'll look to get back on track next week as they... <laughs>